don't know about you, but in my PC environment, whenever I try to use chat GBT, I keep running into this error. And it doesn't matter what type of browser I'm using. The moment I use this on my computer, it gives me this error. Something went wrong. If this issue persists, please contact us through our help center at help.openai.com. I've tried this. It does not work. I can use it on mobile fine, but this is a persistent error, unfortunately. My phone is great, but I don't want to do a lot of large text-based copying and pasting from mobile. So I've had to figure out a workaround because I prefer using my PC over my phone. And it's actually quite easy to do. So basically you want to do a search on your computer for turn windows features on or off. And then from here, you're gonna scroll down and turn on Windows Sandbox. Now I already had it turned on, but what that's gonna do is then allow you to, you can either type it here, use the Windows Sandbox app, which basically it's like a virtual machine. You're gonna open up a version of Windows that has nothing installed on it. So it looks like this. And from here, you can go to Microsoft Edge. You can then type in your chat GPT URL and use it like normal. Log in, do what you need to do. So now I'm logged in. I go through all of my different prompts and I type in my prompt and now it works. So the issue that I'm told that creates the scenario where you have to use Windows Sandbox rather than using your standard PC setup is I've heard rumors it has something to do with your antivirus, rumors that it has something to do with certain extensions, but nobody has any definitive answers. And until ChatGPT is able to resolve whatever the issue is, you're gonna continue running into the issues like I am months and months later, this is a pretty standard workaround. And as long as you're not doing anything nefarious on Windows Sandbox, it is pretty protected for the most part. Obviously, you know, even though it's a sandbox, it can still have access to your PC. So you still wanna be conscious of your decisions that you're using in the sandbox. But for the most part, ChatGPT works fine. What I also like is that I can take these elements and I can lower my window and it does let me copy and paste into my regular PC. So it's basically like having your another browser open. It's just, you're using a virtual machine essentially. It's basically a sandbox that lets you do certain tests of programs and things without all of the bloat that you have on your normal PC. So I just use this for my chat GPT, allows me to use it fine on my PC and not have to run into that same error. So hopefully this helps. If you like this type of content, feel free to give us a subscribe and like, and that will help us with future videos. Thanks so much.